Hi, I'm Tina Hayes, and I am a homeless from Varsity Village. I am the mayor there. A um, couple questions here. Um, at your agencies, how many full-time jobs do you actually have to keep these staffs going to help get us off the street? How many people are actually working towards making our lives better to help us to achieve what we're trying to do in our lives to get off the street? I'm putting that out to all of you because you all have your own staffs. Foodbank has 14 full-time paid employees. 14? Yep. Um, Homes now has no paid staff at all. Um, we do have a lot of volunteers, but we no, nobody at Homes now is paid. So. We have 31 at Lydia Place. Wow. Mission has 46 and about 1,100 volunteers annually, and uh, yeah, engaging about 400 people a day coming through our doors. God bless you all because you've all affected my life, and you've got me off the street because I live at that tiny village right now. How many thousands or millions per year do you budget for your agency's salaries? Is my question. Like the mission, for instance, how much do we actually put forth? You have a huge staff. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Only cost us $1,200 a month to take care of our 20 people to house them where we're at. What about wow. your house? Oh, wow. Well. Uh, so the mission operates on a budget of about $2.75 million annually. And so, as in most any nonprofit organizations, most of those wages, or most of that income goes to wages to pay for uh, salaries. That's a lot of tiny houses. That's a lot of tiny houses. I can see your fan. <laughs> and, and, yet, and as far as us, zero. Uh, we, have, we budget zero for um, staff. So, but, but we, we've, luckily we haven't had, I mean, if we have to have paid staff, we'll have paid staff, but we wanted to make sure that as much of the money as possible goes directly toward the goal. So, you know, Homes Now is small time. Our whole, our whole budget for everything all together was like 100, for the last year, it was like 150,000 like total. So we spent pretty much all of the money on the tiny homes, building them, and um, all the supplies required to support that. And then at the end of the day, it's $1,200 a month to operate. So. We spent about $800,000 a year on salaries. Holy moly. That's a lot of money. It is. <laughs> it's, we need to find a way to put this money elsewhere. This, this money that we're staffing all these people is wonderful. But we need to find a way to make that staffing go towards housing as well. And we need to find a way to better this process that we're all going through. What you're all doing is more than amazing. And I can't thank you enough for what you've done for me personally, because I know every one of you. So if it wasn't for me being blessed to get to know you all and have you help me through my, my hard times and my steps, I wouldn't be at the tiny village I'm at right now. And it's always been a goal of mine to have a tiny house. And my dreams are coming true. Even though I've been homeless, I'm still homeless. But I live in an amazing place with amazing people. And yeah, we're homeless. But that just means we're without a home, you guys. We're human, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for being here tonight. Can I, I yeah. greatly yeah. appreciate it. Thank you for having us.